Well, hello there, SimUK here. Uh, recently I uploaded a video showing how I set up my own G29 on my PC with SnowRunner. It got quite a lot of views, but not a lot of thanks, so I guess it didn't help as much as I thought it might. One thing I did get was a lot of questions. So this is a video to maybe help you out, and if it does, then maybe say thank you. So SnowRunner, in its current state, does not have fully implemented wheel support. Apparently it's coming, but I'm dubious. What I'm here to share today will hopefully change in the coming weeks as a result of what they are promising will come. However, many of the issues that you're going to experience have absolutely nothing to do with COVID-19 or the lack of wheel support testing time as they have promoted it. There are a few serious bugs and some limitations in the game, which basically stem from logic bugs, which is badly thought out code, actual bugs, which is stuff that doesn't work as it's meant to, and limitations, which is stuff that was never even included in the game in the first place. When I first tried to install my G29 and run it on SnowRunner, it didn't recognize my G29 at all. To resolve this, I added the SnowRunner executable to my Logitech G-Hub software by opening the SnowRunner game, then locating the running executable via the task manager. You simply right click on it and open the file location and then add that running executable to G-Hub to create a new game profile. If you haven't already installed G-Hub, then I highly recommend you get it. And anything I say from this point on probably won't work for you if you don't. Now, what I did might not work for you, and if it doesn't, then I'm sorry, I can't help you. But what I did was to unplug my G29, shut down SnowRunner, plug my G29 back in directly to my PC. I highly recommend that you do not plug it into a USB hub, as that can cause some serious problems on its own. Finally, I started the game. So the first time I installed it and it recognised my G29, I tried to use the built-in G29 config and it's absolutely terrible. That part, I agree, clearly looks like they haven't had time to test it, but that's the only bit where that actually applies. You're going to be much better off binding your own configuration and if you want to know how I bound mine, then go and take a look at my original video because I discussed it in quite a bit of detail. So what you need to do is open the wheel settings within SnowRunner and look for something that is not bound to anything. It's very important. I refer back to the bugs mentioned earlier. Bind anything that is not already bound to something to something on your wheel. This will create a new custom controller config file which then allows you to start binding each item to the wheel. If you're unable to see any changes when you do this, tab away from that tabbed area to any other screen within the game and then tab back to it. You should then see that your changes are there. If they're not, then check that G-Hub has correctly changed your profile to SnowRunner and is currently active. At this point, you should be able to bind buttons and axes, but not all because of the logic bugs that I've already previously mentioned. Some keys are not there at all, like starting and stopping the engine, as that simply hasn't been included, and that is a, an example of the game limitations. Even when you do get the game up and running and it's all working fine, at some point you will probably find that despite looking and seeing that everything is bound exactly as it was before, nothing will work properly. To fix this, you simply log back into the wheel support page, find something which is completely unbound and bind it to anything and then fix whatever it is you just broke and it will allow the right controller config to be the primary config again while SnowRunner is running. Now I would highly highly hope that in the next couple of weeks slash months these problems will be resolved and fixed and if it didn't help you then I apologize I can only tell you what worked for me. If it worked for you, give us a thumbs up, say thank you. Just a bit of common courtesy. Cheers then, bye bye. 